Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little comparison here between Android 7.0 Nougat uh, against uh, the uh, the iOS 10 Beta 3, which has just come out as well recently. So we're just going to start them up at the same time and do full comparison of the performance as well as the the uh, features. And both uh, operating systems look very different than how they used to be uh, with Apple going with a lot of widgets on its lock screen obviously. Uh, in terms of the improvements of iOS 10 Beta 3 we are getting uh, quite a few of them actually. So first things first you can see the iOS 10 Beta 3 does boot up very fast here that's despite uh, one of the features of the uh, Android 7.0 to boot up very fast apparently uh, so not quite as fast as what Apple can do so first things first I'll just show you we have got the uh, software on here you can see and with the iPhone uh, you can see basically the software here and uh, let's see you know let's just do a quick little test of the performance then we'll talk about the actual uh, improvements etc so let's start with ooh, let's start with some third-party apps We do have, uh, I think we have Steam here. And OK. And Facebook. So that was similar. The others seem to be a little bit faster on the iPhone very similar for the dialer similar again maybe the iPhone a bit quicker to come up with the receptacle let's have a look at the settings quicker definitely on here wow so that was Android for the win uh, we do have the App Store, very similar. Uh, we do have that annoying game, who's going to be faster, which platform. Oh, Android, very nice. So uh, Apple wasn't too far behind there. Let's have a look at the uh, music players. So very quick on the new music player with uh, iOS. Uh, I think we're missing a few health apps though, if we're to be honest with stock Android. There doesn't seem to be any to compare against. Uh, we do have a calculator. Pretty similar feedback app so I've not seen that before uh, what else do we have we do have the the clock so to me it seems the iPhone is opening up a little bit faster here for most of them and uh, not all of them you know some of them do go on the Android camp a bit quicker but generally you know I'm seeing probably the iPhone giving you that a little bit better performance could be obviously the hardware differences we are due to get a new Nexus in late uh, later on in the year so maybe that might you know uh, improve on the performance so I've heard that the Apple A10 in the iPhone 7 isn't that big step up to uh, how the A9 was to the A8 and all that uh, but in terms of the browsing we can just have a quick look as well 
in fact know that I want to uh, run a quick little geek bench here because some people do like to see you know if there's a difference in terms of the synthetics so go Oh, so you can see we're still getting very nice performance on the latest uh, beta here. Nearly twice as fast as Android to finish this benchmark. And while it is finishing, uh, some hidden features that you might not be aware of in regards to Android 7.0. Uh, we're getting better battery life now, apparently. Someone tried to, you know, uh, confuse me, saying that there's some sort of dedicated Doze app on the Play Store, but actually it's uh, already built in. Uh, so uh, the Doze now is uh, going to be better in regards to like underclocking your CPU when you're not using the phone, as well as uh, cutting off networks and things like that in the background. So that should improve your battery life even more. Uh, we're getting apparently uh, instant apps now. So uh, I'm not sure which apps are actually supported, but Basically the concept is instead of installing apps on your phone, you just click on it and you run it straight away from the Play Store thing. So that uh, is pretty nice. Uh, also we are getting uh, multi-window obviously support as well. And there's also a pretty cool uh, like uh, I think uh, like hidden easter egg kind of thing which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, which does come up at the top. In terms of the actual Geekbench you can see it is quite uh, you know uh, decent here not quite as good as the iPhones though by quite a long shot so I do want to see better hardware in the next Nexus uh, so uh, we can just have a quick look at the web browsing as well just make sure that's you know quick here on both of them so we're just going to uh, load up a few websites so game spot so go. So taking a little bit of time here on Safari with this one. But quicker here with this one, which is nice. And one more. This isn't really the focus of the video, but I did want to check it anyway. Phone Arena. So again, very quick here on Android for the, the page load. But going into the link seems to be quicker there uh, on the iPhone. So quite mixed, I think, really, for the web browsing so I look at the multitasking as well make sure that's not broken so we'll just go back to the start here oh reload it's not what I want to see you see this is the problem with Android I mean they fix things and then they break it and then they fix things and then they break it this is reloading you know very poor multitasking performance here Google I mean seriously that one didn't reload and let's try another one so you can see a lot of reloading here on the Nexus, unfortunately. So I probably won't use this as my daily driver. Some people are saying, you know, should you use it as your daily driver? Based upon that, I wouldn't because it doesn't reload that much on, uh, you know, stock marshmallow. So kind of disappointing. Hopefully they will fix that for the final, final version. Uh, let's have a look at the game. Let's have a look at the game. So iOS clearly superior here when it comes to the 
uh, the speed at the moment if you ask me uh, obviously there was some back and forth a little bit but uh, I think generally uh, we can just talk about now some of the differences on uh, you know how they compare here uh, so obviously we do have uh, some new uh, like uh, kind of um, emojis now apparently so if we have a look here maybe we can see them and just quickly compare them here so actually I think I'm using a, a Google keyboard here so that's not really fair is it uh, so we'll just forget this for now but then again I think they're probably still relevant here uh, I was going to uh, do a video just showing the best uh, like Google apps for iOS and that's why I've got the Google keyboard here uh, but really you can see on the new uh, nugget here we do have some new emojis as well uh, which look quite groovy uh, again on uh, iOS you do get quite a lot of emojis as well uh, I think also on iOS you get this kind of feature which I don't think you get on Android Nugget where you can actually draw something uh, and then uh, you know send that off which is quite nice uh, you do correct me if I'm wrong in regards to these things but this is what I'm seeing basically looking at the differences here in terms of the notifications uh, we can see we are getting a lot of notifications sort of stuff here coming on the lock screen when it comes to iOS uh, whereas you don't get that on the latest Android I do actually like this a lot I think uh, you know sometimes you don't want to go into the device and see everything you just want a quick like look uh, to see what's going on and this kind of feeds everything into it it's a bit like blink feed really uh, you know but kind of uh, you know on the lock screen here and you can see with the latest uh, update the UI looks a little bit different actually I don't even remember seeing that clock before so this I think is new on iOS beta 3 uh, so that is nice uh, other things we do have on iOS beta 3 is uh, a yeah in fact it does say clock in the status bar on the widgets view so that that is obviously a new thing uh, downloaded uh, music labels as well is coming with the beta 3 uh, as well as the ability to uh, to look at text tags underneath the health app so that sounds pretty good uh, so ultimately we can just have a look as well at some other things now the Siri app seems to have gone through some improvements now so there's better support for the uh, third party kind of uh, developers who want to make use of that whereas I don't think we do have as many improvements when it comes to the Android equivalent here so in fact we don't even have like uh, you know dedicated uh, kind of name for the thing it's just like a robot so I think I, I, iOS is a little bit ahead here when it comes to the voice recognition uh, and uh, the fact that they've improved it as well is pretty good obviously you can activate it when the screen's off as well because it has the Apple A9 chip uh, which is very nice uh, other things in terms of uh, the updates uh, obviously both of them are very easy now to install uh, betas uh, you don't have to like get a UDID on the iOS platform and you also uh, can uh, enroll this on the beta like developer platform and that will allow you to get the latest betas very quickly uh, so you're not faffing around you know trying to you know uh, you know flash it etc which is quite nice so we've also had some improvements when it comes to the photos app on iOS so apparently uh, Apple has made it so that uh, it's better to, to identify people places and objects uh, and search for things using those actual parameters uh, so that uh, is pretty cool uh, feature here in regards to uh, the latest Android I don't even think we have a gallery app anymore I couldn't actually see it you know searching for it we do have the photos app obviously 
uh, which is still there and that uh, is pretty nice in that it creates collections as well as it has an assistant which like spruces up photos now and again so that is quite an uh, interesting difference both I think are lagging a little bit behind when it comes to the cameras you know no real manual mode uh, like Samsung and LG do give us so I think both could be a little bit of improvement there uh, really so I think both of them are definitely uh, coming along uh, I think there's this, like uh, some things I prefer still on Android such as the uh, music app uh, which uh, while the obviously the new kind of Apple music has had like uh, quite a nice redesign in regards to the UI uh, I do like uh, the way which uh, you get uh, some stuff like uh, the streaming uh, as well as the ability to individual in, individually uh, play downloaded songs on the music app here uh, on Android. So yeah, I don't know if you can do that on uh, the iOS version. Maybe you can, but uh, I'm pretty familiar with this one, obviously, because it is my main phone. So, uh, but I think generally, I think uh, you know, you can see there are some advantages and disadvantages with both with both platforms at the moment. Uh, really, uh, so I definitely enjoy though the changes. I think a little bit more with iOS in regards to the, you know, these widgets here. Uh, it just feels like they've gone a little bit further. But then again, uh, I do uh, enjoy the multitasking on the, you know, latest Android here. Oh, and let's not forget before I end the video, uh, this uh, kind of Easter egg thing here. So if we just go here, tap this a few times, and then if you press this down, you should see a uh, fish come up. And then once you find that, you go into the edit, and you'll find a little toggle there, drag that up there. And then apparently you can make a sacrifice or an offering to the fish of doom. I don't exactly know what happens yet, but you can offer a chicken, a fish, or whatever, and uh, I think it's kind of to be played like a Tamagotchi or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm still learning about it, I don't really know what the hell's going on with it too much, but it is interesting nevertheless, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit long obviously, but did want to do a more in-depth comparison here. Uh, so yeah, just quick, well, not a quick video, but I uh, hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.